can hear is the air conditioning going because it's freaking 91 degrees outside. What is that in, in Fahrenheit? 91 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in Celsius. It's like you have to... the entire week for the first time since the beginning of summer so your girl is gonna get a lot of reading done hopefully but I figured I would update you guys on what I'm reading for this week I started a book yesterday and it's called Mercy Brown by Tiki Koss it's part one apparently and I'm part of a Canadian author tour thing so I have to read this by August 20th I also have to read the crossover by Heather Horst. I only have like 20 pages left of this. It's like super duper 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 short. I don't know if I like it or not. It's like one of those books where it's not a bad book but it's not a good book. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does or if it's like just in my head but it's basically about this girl named Mercy Brown who's 17 and she wants to like have her senior year of high school go without flaws and everything to run smoothly so she wants to be invisible because everyone thinks she's a freak and a vampire. Real vampires show up in her town and basically kill everybody and it's just like what is happening? It's very short so everything happens like really really quickly. It's only 128 pages and I have 28 pages left. This one's like 365 pages so I actually have to like start it soon or I'm probably not going to finish it by August 20th if I don't finish it this week because of work. And then I'm also listening to an audiobook because I always have physical copy audiobook, but my audiobook for this week is Pretty Baby by Mary Kabuka. Kabika. Probably still saying that wrong. I'm only like 30 pages in, 37 pages in, so not a lot has happened, but it's about this woman named Heidi who brings a homeless woman named Willow and her baby home to her house and then shit goes down so far so good but only 37 pages in so could be really good could be really bad we don't know yet plans for today i am going to the movies with my mom we're gonna go see the spy who dumped me which is the new Mila kunis and kate mckibben movie because those are two of my favorite actresses so i was like mom we need to go and your girl's not working so we can actually go other than that we don't have any plans so reading will hopefully get done we'll probably finish mercy brown so i'll update you guys on that i just finished mercy brown by tiki Kos, and i'm giving it a two point five stars. As I said, it wasn't a bad book, but it wasn't exactly a good book. I honestly think I'm bumping it up a bit. It was just so short, but everything happened so quickly. It was like done in the span of like four days where this new boy comes to the school. She finds out he's a vampire. She falls in love. She goes to a party and then all the vampires come and kill everybody. And it was just like, what? It's kind of cool because Mercy Brown is actually a real person who was alive in 1982 and everyone thought she was a vampire and all this shit went down with her google it it's actually pretty interesting i read about it but yeah i'm giving it a 2.5 because like it was nothing like spectacular and i just going to the movies we're gonna go see the spy who dumped me and the popcorn seasoning is now 50 cents used to be free so we got our own popcorn seasoning, which I have to put in my pants because you're not allowed to do that, and I didn't bring a bag, so. Nobody says you can't do that. You're not allowed to bring outside food into the theater. This counts but, as food. But everybody does. But we got some Colonel's Garlic Parmesan seasoning. Sponsor me. Sounds great. That'd Hashtag be, that, spawn. That would be really cool, eh? If I got... Got sponsored, sponsored by Colonels. Yeah, see, I'd have to actually be popular and get more than like a hundred views on my video. So, what did you think of that movie there? <laughs> That's not good, honey. Yeah, that was a real it bad was, movie. Was, we only went because of Kate McKinnon. Which she wasn't even that good in. I mean, she was the funniest part, but compared to her other movies that she's been in, not so good. Now we're gonna go get pierced. No, we're not. Do your nose. I already do right here. But yours funny. has a little dent, it would be cute. Can you imagine if I came home what the comment would be? We should do it. Okay, we're gonna go get piercings, bye! Stay tuned for dad's reaction, coming soon. <laughs> we didn't get piercings because uh, mom's a chicken shit. We bought 
Fergalicious shoes. <laughs> We're fergalicious up in this bitch. Look how cute they are. No, They're cute. Come Look, on. I'm gonna stomp on They're all the of... haters. Hi. <laughs> You're no fun. You make me sad. And I feed you. True. How does it feel to be newly single? So I'm sitting across from her. <laughs> That's Jay for you. He's really single. I'm enjoying the steak. Because he didn't give me a steak. Literally ask you if you wanted anything. Yeah, but you should just be able to read my mind. I saw your steak and now I'm like, I want it. Uncle. Hey guys, I just realized it's like 2.30 on Tuesday and I haven't updated you guys at all today yet. So I figured I'd hop on here, say hello, how you doing? Hope your day is going great. Uh, what have I been doing today? I filmed a super exciting video which will be up on my channel August 15th. It's about the Emojiathon that's coming back on... It's about the Emojiathon that is coming back for the month of September. We have a super exciting new host that's joining us and I love him so much so I'm super super excited about it. That will be up on August 15th on my channel so check that out once it's released. Reading wise, I've actually done a lot today. I'm on page 133 of Pretty Baby and I am like sitting here listening to it being like what the heck is going on? I don't I don't even know what to say about this, but like I'm loving this. It is such a good thrill. So there's actually three narrators for this audiobook, which I personally love when there's more than one. I just find it way more entertaining and easier to follow, in my opinion. But there's Heidi, who's like the main chicky, and then there's Willow, who's the homeless woman, and then there's Chris, who's Heidi's husband, and like shit is going down right now. We're finding out Willow's backstory. It's hecka good right now. I'm probably gonna go listen to more of that because I really wanna know what happens. And then I also started the crossover by Heather Host. I'm like, 90 pages in and I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I really didn't think I was going to like it because it's not really like my style. It's like a sci-fi. It's about this like alien invasion and this girl named Ella, her brother died 12 years ago and then her father died yesterday and then these aliens come in this parallel universe and she needs to try to save this parallel universe in order to save like the real earth. It's kind of confusing right now but I'm also like sitting here like what's going on? Like I'm really confused so I want to know more kind of thing. It's not my usual genre so we're taking it slow but it's not bad so far. So what else am I doing today? I'm going to Ricardo's house around 6 30 for dinner and then I'll probably be home around 9 ish so I'm gonna get more reading done hopefully. I need to go edit my emoji-a-thon video and yeah that's pretty much the only plans for today so i'll catch you guys later sometime i don't know when <laughs> hey that is such a big day you're not gonna get through it yes i am <laughs> this is the best day of my life look at this glorious <laughs> sandwich oh yes and then she gets blank you get what blank it's now Wednesday. I just got back from having lunch with mom and I just filmed my most anticipated reads for the month of August. I figured I would update on my reading, everything I got done last night. I kind of think this is funny because I ended on page 230 for both of the books that I'm reading, which I just think is a weird coincidence. So as I said, page 230 of the crossover. Not 100% sure what I'm feeling about it. It's interesting and I want to know what happens next because it's so weird. But the thing is the dialogue in the book really pisses me off because just nobody talks the way that they're talking in this book. But the plot is intriguing and I am interested to see how it ends. So I only have like 170 pages or something like that left of that. But then Pretty baby, Mary Kabuka. Holy, this is a roller coaster. I am so excited to finish this as quickly as possible. I'm not gonna be able to listen to it for a while because I'm probably going out with Ricardo soon. So, you know, can't listen to an audiobook when your boyfriend's there because they'll be mad at you. And I have all these theories for the book which are definitely wrong and I can't really say any of them because it will spoil everything that's happened already in the book. Is it bad that I'm kind of like hoping that he doesn't text me for a while so that I can listen to my audiobook for a bit? I feel like this is a hashtag bad girlfriend moment but 
I'm sorry that I'm not sorry about it. We're gonna be here for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good, baby. <laughs> so I closed the door and I'm a, I'm a little bit stuck here. How do you feel? I feel fine. <laughs> I feel in pain. <laughs> I've escaped. Skip it. We're going grocery shopping because we live exciting lives. Mom has an idea for a uh, book tag. You want to tell the people what it is? <laughs> Color red for <water. laughs> Please tell us what uh, your brilliant idea is. Sell me on this idea. Okay, so, to do the ex-boyfriend girlfriend tag, and you take qualities from those people that you are no longer dating, <laughs> and come up with a character in a book that is similar to that, and it could be good or bad because you don't have to be, you don't have to have bad characters about an ex that just didn't work, and you have a lot you can choose from. I have like eighty. <laughs> Okay, this is too many questions. Well, you even have a stabby stab. <laughs> Who's stabby stabby? Is that who I want to stab? Because no, I got plenty. <laughs> I wanted to stabby stabby you. I'll tell this story. So when I was in middle school, I dated this guy. It was his birthday. I didn't want to be dating him anymore, but I was like, it's his birthday, so I can't break up with him until after his birthday. So then my friend ran up to him and was like, hey, Jay's breaking up with you. So he basically hated my guts. He drew a picture of me hanging from like a ceiling with a knife through my eye getting eaten by a great white shark. So I wish I kept that picture. That would have been a good souvenir. Let me know if you guys want this book tag. Come on, go write it. It'll mom's gonna write it because I'm not doing that. I totally realized I did not update you guys on my reading at all yesterday, but I finished both books that I started. So first, Pretty Baby. I'm giving it a 4 out of 5 stars. I personally really liked it. After I reviewed it on my Goodreads, I noticed that like a lot of people said that the pacing was like super slow and they didn't like it because of that. Maybe because I listened to the audiobook. It just worked really well in my opinion. Everything was unraveled like really slowly but it made it more intense if that makes sense. The ending did seem a bit rushed and kind of weird. I still really enjoyed it and I really liked Willow's backstory and how she got to where she was. And then the second book, The Crossover by Heather Horst, um, 2.5. It was good when like we first started and I was like intrigued and I wanted to know more and I'm gonna spoil this for you guys now because I doubt any of you guys are gonna actually read it but if you do then stop listening until I put the book down, I guess. Basically, the second half of the book is that she goes to this parallel universe and everybody there is a different version of the people in her world. Her dad, who's named Chris, he's not actually her dad and her brother, Weston, is dead in her universe but he's alive in this universe. And hi mom, I'm trying to review this. Is she gets her like arm cut off and amputated and then in order to save her they have to inject her with alien blood and therefore she is now part human part alien and she's able to communicate with all of these aliens now because she has their blood so she's able to disconnect them from her mind but she can still reach their minds no matter what but they can't get into her mind and she ends up blowing up the world the aliens are like oh my god you blew up the world but we're gonna be back in three years so bitches we ain't gonna leave and it's just it's stupid okay it's a stupid book and i'm just no is it stupid stop eating my chocolate i bought the chocolate this is our new look yes. do you all like it <laughs> i'm feeling it it's now around 6 40 on friday basically just been reading in bed so i figured i'd update y'all on what yo girl has been reading i am 200 pages in to the winner's curse by mary rutowski i feel like i don't need to give a synopsis on this because it's been around for a million trillion years and it's been on my shelf for like two years and I just haven't picked it up. I'm actually really liking it a lot more than I thought I would. I honestly haven't heard many people talk a lot about it since it is a pretty old series but I really like Kestrel. I'm really liking Arin. I kind of want them to just hurry up and get together because I feel like this is like a hate to love kind of tropey thingy. They're kind of friends but they're also like not. It's really hard to explain if you haven't read the book and I feel like I could probably finish it tonight honestly but I'm probably going out with Ricardo later but that's not till like 10 or 11 so 
we might be able to finish this tonight. We'll see. And then the other book that I started is fucked up. I'm only like 60 pages in, but I'm just shook it. It's Abomination by Gary Witta. But this book is fucked. Like 60 pages in and I'm already just so confused. There's so much like gore. It's basically about this priest who finds these scrolls and he learns the incantation, whatever it's called, like the spell or whatever that's written on the scrolls. And the spell has the ability to turn like animals into these creatures that are basically super bloodthirsty and will attack as soon as they see you. And like they can spit fire and acid and all this shit based off of like different ways that he says the spells and different like hand movements. He can make the beasts have different qualities. Then he starts turning humans into these beasts and he wants to use this army that he's creating to start a war. It's 60 pages in and there's just so much blood and ripping apart of people and I'm just like <laughs> but like it's really good. It's weird because like it's taking me a really long time to read it just because I have to keep putting it down because I have like the weakest stomach ever so like any kind of gore I'm like Bleh. but like it's good so I want to keep reading. Then I'm also like eh, no no gross. It's really confusing. I'm 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 a complicated gal you know but probably gonna read a bit more of this hopefully if I can handle it but like it's good so I don't I don't know how to feel. It's Saturday at like 3 30 in the afternoon. I've literally done nothing but lie in bed and read all day because I am just like weirdly exhausted. I have like zero energy so I've just been relaxing today. I finished The Winner's Curse. I'm giving it four out of five stars and I started The Winner's Crime but I'm only on chapter three right now. I can't say if I like it or not yet but I am Definitely intrigued in where the story's gonna go. And then the other book, you know, Abomination, I'm about 100 pages in now, still taking me forever to read it, even though it is still really good. It's just a lot to take in, and it's not like my usual genre. I want to say that it's like historical, but it's also like fantasy. Like, I don't even know where this would fall, to be honest. I'm enjoying it, but it's just a lot to take in at one time. So we're slowly but surely getting through it. But I think I'm gonna go maybe nap, maybe read. Who really knows? It's now 6.30 on Sunday, and I have not updated you today. I literally spent the whole day thrifting. So I did no reading. I don't really have an update, but I'm gonna end the video vlog now because your girl has to go shower and then she's gonna go see Ricardo. And then I have to edit this and have it up by tomorrow. So thank you for joining me for another week of reading. I'll see you in my next video. Don't know if that'll be next week or not. We'll see. I'm going back to work. Boo. But bye.